Welcome back to Movie On. Today we're going to do a recap of the movie called Shameless from 2012. The movie starts and we see the main character, Tadek, is in a train traveling, and he's hiding from the ticket checker in the train because he's traveling without buying the train ticket, and he's concerned about being thrown out of the train for not having a ticket. When the train reaches Tadek's destination, he jumps out from the train without getting noticed or caught by the ticket checker. And just like that, he travels from the train free of cost without spending money. When he jumps from the train to get out of there as soon as possible, a girl named Ermina standing on the railway station sees him jumping from the train and is very curious to know the reason behind it. From the station, Tata goes to the house of his stepsister. Tata's stepsister's name is Anka. When Tata enters the house where Anka lives, they don't have much of an interaction because Anka doesn't want to engage in a long conversation with Tata because Anka is waiting for her boyfriend to come home. When Anka's boyfriend comes to pick up Anka, she leaves her house and goes with her boyfriend in his car. Anka is Tadek's stepsister, but Tadek secretly likes Anka since his childhood, and that's why he doesn't want to see Anka with someone else. And when Anka's boyfriend comes to pick her up, he feels very bad and gets angry and jealous, and he wants Anka to understand his love for her. That night, Anka returns back home very late. She spent so much time having fun night with the boyfriend, and that's why she's come home late. Anka's boyfriend's name is Andre. When Anka comes home very late in the night with her boyfriend, Tadek is watching everything from the window, and he's feeling very bad and angry. Anka's boyfriend Andre spent the night in Anka's house. The next morning, Andre wakes up and leaves Anka's house. After he leaves, Anka and Tadek are alone in the house, and they're both sitting on the dining room table and starting their day by eating breakfast, and they begin to have a conversation with each other. Tadek is talking in a very strange way with her, and Anka doesn't like the way her stepbrother's talking to her. He tells Anka that he came here for some kind of schoolwork. Anka knows what Tadek's intentions are because she knows that Tadek has liked her since childhood, and she knows what's in Tadek's mind, and what he thinks and feels about her. After that little conversation, Anka tells Tadek clearly that she's in a very serious relationship with her boyfriend Andre. Andre truly loves her very much, and she tells Tadek that she also loves Andre very much. Anka also tells Tadek that she'll soon get married to him, because she wants Tadek to lose his hope about her and treat her the same way she's treating Tadek, just like a sibling. After the conversation, Tadek leaves for school. In school, Ermina, the girl from the train, sees Tadek, and she recognizes him that he's the guy who jumped from the train that day. Tadek is a handsome man, charming and attractive, and so he attracts Ermina. Ermina is very impressed by Tadek, and she imagines many things, like Tadek as her future husband, and she starts dreaming about her marriage with Tadek. She wants to make Tadek her life partner. When Ermina comes home from school, she finds that some guests were at her house. Among the guests that came to Ermina's house, one of them had very bad intentions. He seems to be keeping an eye on her and is staring at her the whole time. It's obvious that he's attracted to Ermina. On the other hand, Tadek, after finding out from his stepsister that she and Andre are in a very serious relationship and soon they're going to marry each other, he realizes that now his dream of getting love from his stepsister can't be fulfilled. He has to live with this fact now, and he must learn to accept Andre. At first, he doesn't accept him, but later he tries to make a bond of friendship between him and Andre, and in reality, Tadek doesn't have any kind of interest in him. He doesn't like Andre. He knows that Andre is not a good person. The scene shifts, and we see that Tadek meets one of his friends in the garden, and he talks about Andre in front of his friend, and tells him that Andre is his stepsister's boyfriend. Tadek's friend lives near Andre's house, and he knows him well. He tells this to Tadek, and after hearing that his sister's in a relationship with Andre, he tells Tadek that Andre is a lying scum. He's married, and he has two kids from his wife, and he doesn't truly love your sister. He's only taking advantage of her. Andre is cheating on his wife with your stepsister. Tadek doubts that his sister knows anything about Andre's wife and kids. He agrees that Andre is taking advantage of her. Andre will never marry his stepsister. So Tadek goes directly to Anka and tells her everything that Andre is up to. He's already married, and he has two kids from his wife, and he'll never marry you. He doesn't truly love you, and he's just taking advantage of you. Surprisingly, Anka tells Tadek that she already knows that Andre is married with kids. Tadek is shocked, but he's been saying bad things about Andre, which angers Anka. In anger, she tells Tadek that she knows what his intentions are, and what he thinks about her, his stepsister, in his mind, which is really inappropriate. And she also tells Tadek that she knows that in her absence, Tadek does weird stuff with her clothes, and makes her clothes dirty. She asks Tadek to leave from there, and never come back to her house. After all of that, the doorbell of Anka's house rings, and she opens the door and finds that there's a man on the doorstep. He gives Anka her electricity bill for the month. Anka hasn't paid the electricity bill for months. 
All of the due money is charged in a single bill, and if she doesn't pay this one, then her house electricity will be cut off at any moment. In the house, Tadek feels very bad after getting confronted by his sister. He feels so embarrassed, and even heartbroken, because he's loved Anka since childhood. He feels so bad that he's packing his stuff in his luggage to leave Anka's house after getting talked down to. When he's packed all of his luggage and is about to leave, Anka sees him leaving and starts to feel bad about him. She realizes that she said so many bad things to him in a fit of rage, and she realizes that Tadek is just trying to show her the reality of her boyfriend. She stops him from leaving the house, and we find out that she already once kicked Tadek out of her house in the past, and due to that she feels guilty, so she doesn't want to repeat the same mistake again. After this, she doesn't allow Tadek to leave the house and convinces him to stay. The mood becomes emotional, and Anka and Tadek hug each other and start crying. After that, the scene shifts and we see that Tadek is passing by from a nearby market, and Ermina is also present there. She sees Tadek in the market and approaches him. She wants to start a conversation with him because she likes him very much. They have a very long chat, and after the conversation takes place in the market, Tadek understands that Ermina has a big crush on him and likes him very much. After the conversation, Tadek says goodbye to Ermina and leaves the market for his stepsister's house. When he enters the house, he comes upon a weird scene, finding that Andre is cheating on his stepsister and is busy having fun with some other girl in the house of Anka. Tadek catches Andre red-handed in the act. After seeing this, Tadek locks the girl and Andre in Anka's house so that both Andre and the girl can't leave. He locks them in the house because he wants to show his stepsister about the reality of her boyfriend, that he's a scumbag and is not a good person. He doesn't truly love Anka and he's a big cheat. When Anka returns, Tadek tells her everything, that he caught Andre cheating on her with some other girl. He unlocks the door and shows Anka her boyfriend with some other girl in her house as proof. Seeing that Andre was having fun with another girl in their house, she comes to the realization that Tadek is right about Andre, that he's just having fun with her and he's not going to marry her. All of the things that he promised and all the dreams that he had set were lies. She feels horrible and ends her relationship with Andre immediately. As they're breaking up, Tadek is feeling pretty happy because now he thinks that he might be able to get love from Anka. At night, when the electricity of Anka's house was cut because she hadn't paid the electricity bill for many months, he goes down to help her and learns about her financial troubles. With this new knowledge, he decides to get a job so that he can help his sister and lessen her load, and he can help chip in money to pay off her bills. On the job, Ermina sees Tadek and she understands that if Tadek is doing a job, that means that he needs some money. Tadek just wants to financially help his sister, and for that he's ready to do any type of work, whatever it takes. Tadek shares this with Ermina, and she takes him to some place because she likes him very much, and she wants to help him. This is a perfect opportunity for Ermina to impress Tadek and get into his good books. Together, the two of them steal some heavy stuff. They then take the stolen goods to the market and sell it for cash. But the money is not that much, and Tadek needs more money to pay the electricity bill. So Tadek tells Ermina that the cash is not enough, and he wants more money to help his sister. And for that, he's ready to do any kind of job, and take any kind of risk, because he needs the money very badly. Ermina feels very bad for him, and she likes Tadek so much that she even stole the money from her own house to give it to Tadek, so that he can help his sister. Ermina stole the money from her own house because she wants to show Tadek how much she loves him. Tadek is very touched by her gesture, because he really needs the money, and he says to Ermina that he'll never forget her favor to him. He promises that whenever Ermina needs help, Tadek will always be present there for her, whatever the situation. Using the money from Ermina, Tadek pays off the electricity bill and surprises Anka when their electricity is connected again and the bulb of her house turns back on. Anka asks him about it and Tadek tells her that he's paid off all the bills. They're both very happy, Anka because Tadek has helped her pay off her electricity bills and Tadek because his sister is happy again after her tragic breakup with Andre. The scene shifts and we see Ermina coming toward Tadek and telling him that she needs his help. But Tadek refuses to help her and he's quickly forgotten about his promise. He doesn't want to help her because now Anka is single again and he wants to spend his time with her. Ermina feels so betrayed and she leaves crying. It turns out Ermina's father has arranged Ermina's marriage with the same guest we saw that was attracted towards Ermina and he wants to marry her but Ermina doesn't want to marry him. So she comes towards Tadek. She wanted to tell him that she loves him and wants to marry him, but Tadek doesn't listen to anything that she says and refuses to help her before she could even have said anything. She realizes that Tadek is not a good person, he's very selfish. After breaking Ermina's heart, Tadek returns to his stepsister's room to spend some time with her and see that she's in the bathtub taking a bath. 
He attempts to join her in the bathtub, but Anka doesn't like it, and she gets angry and leaves. Anka doesn't have any kind of bad intentions about Tadek, and she treats Tadek like a sister treats her younger brother. But Tadek doesn't treat Anka like his sister, because he's liked her since childhood, and has bad intentions with her. At night, because of Tadek's behavior, Anka doesn't sleep for one second. She becomes restless, and she goes towards Tadek's room, and tries to make him understand the thing that he's thinking in his mind is very bad, and she tells him that she's his sister, and he should treat her like a sister. That kind of relationship is not made between sisters and brothers. Tadek tells Anka how much he loves her, ever since childhood. Anka tries hard to make him understand, but he doesn't listen. Anka realizes just how much Tadek loves her, and she's been single ever since her breakup with Andre, so she gets intimate with Tadek. Tadek is elated because his childhood dream of getting with his sister has finally come true. The scene shifts and we see Tadek in the mall where he spots Andre. Andre has come to the mall because he's buying a beautiful dress for Anka to apologize for cheating on her with another girl, and he wants forgiveness from her. Andre goes to Anka's house to apologize to her, but Tadek reaches the house faster than him and stops him from going inside. He prevents him from meeting her because Tadek doesn't want Anka to forgive Andre. Tadek intervenes and tells Andre that his stepsister is not home. Andre leaves from Anka's house. After that, the scene shifts and we see that Tadek is very happy because he's prevented Andre from meeting his stepsister. He's planning to watch a movie with Anka that night, and he buys tickets to the movie theater. He goes to Anka's house, and when he enters, he sees that Andre is also present there. He asks Anka what is Andre doing here, and she tells him that Andre has realized his mistake, and he begged for her forgiveness, and she ended up forgiving him, and they are continuing their relationship. This upsets Tadek because now his relationship with Anka has returned to just a normal brother-sister relationship. The scene shifts and we see that Anka goes with Andre to a party. Andre's boss is also there, and at night in the party, Andre's boss invites Anka to dance with him on stage. And she thinks that Andre's boss is a good person, so she agrees to dance with him. While dancing with Anka, Andre's boss does some bad stuff with her, which Anka doesn't like. She notices that Andre's boss's intentions are not good. So she stops dancing with him and gets down from the stage. She tells Andre that his boss is doing bad stuff with her. But Andre doesn't do anything about his boss and fully ignores it, because he wants Anka to spend a night with his boss for his promotion. And that's the only reason that he's apologized to Anka and again built up the relationship with her. When he reveals this to Anka and asks her just to sleep with his boss for one night for his promotion, Anka refuses to do it. Andre tries so hard to convince her, but Anka feels so bad because she thought that Andre had truly loved her and that he would marry her. But now she realizes that Tadek was right. He is not a good person and he was only taking advantage of her. So she gets very angry and slaps him in front of everyone. She can't bear this insult from Andre anymore and she leaves him there. She comes straight back to her house from the party and starts crying in her house because she felt so bad that she trusted Andre and she thought that he truly loved her. She feels so stupid that she again believed Andre, even after he got caught cheating in her house. Tadek was at the party, so he knows everything that happened. The scene shifts to Ermina's marriage. Everyone is happy there, except for Ermina, who is looking very sad because she loves Tadek, and she doesn't want to proceed with this marriage to the guy that her father chose for her. Then we see that some enemies of Ermina's father try to spoil her marriage and light a fire in the venue. Seeing the fire, everyone present in the marriage gets scared and starts to run, this gives Ermina the opportunity to run away from her marriage, and she runs away and goes to meet Tadek. When she meets Tadek in the wedding dress, Tadek is ready to accept Ermina as his partner, and he's ready to elope with her. But now Ermina hates him because of him not fulfilling his promise. When Ermina needed his help, he refused to help her just because he wanted to spend some time with Anka. Ermina doesn't elope with the man that she once loved. Now she truly hates him. Tadek realizes that he's been so wrong, always chasing Anka, and he's been so blind in his love for her that he totally ignored Ermina and her love for him because he wanted to spend a night with his stepsister. And in that struggle, he became so selfish and forgot all about Ermina's good deed. Tadek feels so sorry and embarrassed and wants to ask for Ermina's forgiveness. He apologizes to her, but to no avail, she's too angry and doesn't forgive him. Ermina kisses her love, Tadek, for the first and last time and shows her love for him before leaving and returning back to her wedding to marry the guy that her dad chose. Tadek feels so bad about this, and he comes back to his stepsister's house and sees that Anka has packed all of his luggage, meaning that now Tadek has to leave her house. Tadek and Anka eat ice cream at the table for the last time ever, 
because Tarek is now going to leave her house and he'll never see her again in his life. Neither of them want to see each other ever again because they've both been so wrong about so many things. The movie ends here and everybody lives happily ever after. To watch more recaps of these kinds of movies, click on the videos on your screen. And don't forget to let me know how you feel about today's video in the comments down below. Kindly like the video and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so you don't miss any new videos. And at last I will say, stay safe, stay well, thanks for watching.